Brazilian, the hidden city in the mists that most people don't even know exists. But let me show you how to get there yourself. It's the easiest way and it took me less than two hours to achieve it. Did I spark your interest? Check it out. All right, boys. So to get Brazilian, you gotta get yourself a mist. Right now, I have zero reputation. I actually never stepped into the mist with this character. My goal is to unlock Brazilian because I honestly feel like it's gonna make things much, much easier. So let me just step into Brazilian. Again, this is part of the hardcore challenge still. I'm still on my hardcore character. But I just wanna show you how easy it actually is to unlock Brazilian if you have a build with decent mobility and uh, a little bit of good luck. You do need a little bit of good luck, but a very little bit. I'm going to show you. What you want to be doing once you get yourself here, you want to start by opening the translucent map. This is Shift N on PC or drag and drop the minimap on mobile. And uh, while you're looking for objectives, you want to start doing those little things that you see over here, the caged wisps. If you just focus on this, you will be able to unlock Brazilian within a few hours. The next best thing that you can actually do is also clearing the camps. Another thing is escorting the um, caged will-o'-wisps and stuff like that. So yeah, there's a lot of different things that you can do and a lot of different uh, routes that you can take to unlock Brazilian. But the best one in my opinion, especially as a newer player, is to just focus on freeing those caged wisps. And we're gonna see together how much uh, how much Brazilian reputation we're gonna be making at the end. By the way, if you have your audio effects turned on, you will see the wisps uh, crying. I think that's uh, what they're doing. So yeah, you're gonna be able to see to hear them crying, and you're gonna be able to go for them and know that there's a wisp nearby. <laughs> Look at this lucky drop, Chad. What is that? I think he's lagging. Alright! Free kill? The day in which I say no to a free kill is not here, chat. The day in which I say no to a free kill is not here. And look at this, I got myself the healer staff that I wanted to get. <laughs> hey! It is what it is! I can still run. In the mist is actually really hard to stream snipe. And of, uh, like both through in real life and in a game. You just, oh, wait a second. Hey, why are you guys eating cheese in front of me? No, there's no way you win this, my dude. There's no way you win this. I kind of want to help. I'm going to be honest. But there's no way we win this. Oh, he's kind of low, though. He's kind of low. Let me see if I can get this mounted here. So chat, just to put things into perspective, if you want to farm Brazilian reputation and you wonder if this is actually a good way, I'm going to keep going, like I'm not stopping it right now, but look at this. In two mists, I've got 20k Brazilian reputation. So uh, yeah, it's very much a good way because this, if I keep going at this rate, in three more mists, I should have 50k. Right, boys, this is gonna give me a ton, and I mean a ton of Brazilian reputation. 35, uh, 35k so far. Let's see how much we can make. I'm gonna try to stick to the objectives that I know I can do. Is a tier 8 zone. I don't even have tier 8 river unlocked yet, so um, it's rough. I mean, not as rough as uh, I expected, to be honest. But at the same time, I am pulling singular mobs, and I'm getting wow, 4k per mob. Okay, I need to milk this area as much as I can because this is going to get me tier 8. 
Yeah, I, I for some reason I just straight up forgot the name. Alright, boys, this is it. Brand of Wisps. Nice. Now let's find Brazilian. To find Brazilian, just keep on chaining the mists until you see the Brazilian bottom. Alright, boys. So from my understanding, the best thing that you want to be doing right now after you got yourself 50k Brazilian reputation is to look for a yellow zone mist because apparently one in four will have the Brazilian portal portal which you will be able to see uh, because you have the Brazilian reputation previously you needed to go look for a specific rock formation find the rock formation and in the middle of that there was the Brazilian portal right now it just appears on the map like a normal portal does like an Avalonian portal in a way but it's uh it's different to an Avalonian portal you're gonna see the difference clearly let's see if we have some luck let's see if we have some luck here Come on, Brazilian portal, one in four chance. No Brazilian portal over here. Second mist, let's try our luck. Let's try our luck once more. No, I thought that was the Brazilian portal, but no third mist. Again, technically, once we've done, uh, once we've entered four mists, we should find a portal. It's not a specific requirement, but it's a 25% chance from my understanding. So let's see. Brazilian portal is right over there and this actually clears up the confusion which is the fact that a lot of people said that the portal does not actually show up on the map yes it does I did not have Brazilian unlocked up until this moment I never found the portal up until this moment it's a brand new character as you can see right here I mean it doesn't look as brand new as it did a few hours ago but it's a brand new character and that is the first time I'm seeing the Brazilian portal and it does show up on the map so let's go we've unlocked Brazilian chat we've unlocked Brazilian I'm very happy about this. Again, it's actually easier to find the Brazilian portal in yellow zone mists than in black zone mists. And I can somewhat confirm this. I've been doing mists the whole day in the black zone and I've... Uh, I mean, not the whole day. For like the past few hours and... Uh, yeah, I think... I, I think I can actually say it's the first time in weeks or in days. Not may Maybe not weeks, but in days in which I actually find the Brazilian portal. This is how it looks like once you get close to it and you just enter through it. And congratulations, you got yourself the city in the mist. Now, once you get yourself in Brazilian, again, this is not necessarily going to be a full guide on Brazilian, but I just want to mention this. You're going to be over there. You can take this exit or this exit right here. This is going to lead you to the bank. That's going to lead you to the um, uh, market, to the market. You just get yourself here. This is the market, for example, and you just step towards the area that shows like this. You just get yourself over there. And you are at the bottom layer. At the bottom layer, you have multiple maps. Some of them are, or I think all of them are red zones. Pretty sure. Oh, no, there's also a yellow zone. Okay. So there's three red zones and one yellow zone. Uh, but the thing that's important to you is actually the travel planner. Travel planner that you can actually use even if you have baggage on you. Uh, which is really expensive right now. Because my set is kind of expensive. So I'm going to have to find my way back through yellow zone mist. But yeah, normally you can travel here. It's the biggest price. So it's kind of like the equivalent of traveling from Tedford to Limhurst. Let's say it's two maps away, the biggest distance that you can travel. It's pretty expensive. It's pretty expensive. And that is how you get yourself to 50k Brazilian reputation and to Brazilian in less than two hours. Hope you've enjoyed watching this.